Prometheus started out so good. It was a new part of a familiar world. It was asking heavy hitting questions about life and faith. And it felt like a very human story, but in a sci-fi setting. And then it remembered it was an alien prequel and everything just fell apart. The big thing is that prequels are very hard because creatively you're boxed in. Audiences go in knowing the outcome, so there's reduced tension. I mean, in X-Men First Class, you never thought for a moment that Charles Xavier was gonna die. But at the same time, you know, hey, in the other movies he's in a wheelchair, so when's that gonna happen? If you don't see that happen in the movie, you feel cheated. It's just that we really like connecting dots. I mean, we have ever since we were kids, we were always asking why and how. Prequels fill those blanks in, like Mad Libs. But honestly, do we need all those blanks filled in? You do for Mad Libs. But despite swimming upstream on this one, Prometheus is actually doing something very cool. It's serving as a prequel to both Alien and creating a new trilogy which veers off from the Alien story. Or at least that's what I'm perceiving it's doing. I actually kind of mix my metaphors there. First you trapped in a box, then I have swimming upstream. It would suck if you were a salmon stuck in a box swimming upstream. I guess the box would have to be mesh, but super short story synopsis, a ship of scientists visits a distant planet in hopes of discovering the essence of life. Now, so far, I've been speaking in very vague brushstrokes, but from this point on, I am going to get into spoilers. If you don't want the movie spoiled for you, click this annotation. It's going to take you somewhere. I don't know where this annotation... Now, the thing that made Alien really cool was that it was a haunted house movie in space. It was this amazing horror, thriller, sci-fi blend that was unlike anything that had been done before. And while Aliens turned it into a sci-fi action film, it was essentially retreading the same beat set up in Alien. Ridley Scott put an emphasis on slow building tension, while James Cameron was amped on adrenaline. But that genre shift makes all the difference. With Prometheus, it just feels like there are too many nods to Alien. You still got the same, what is this place scene with all those jars, which I mean, really, if that black who's a weapon, why would you set it up like that? That's just an accident waiting to happen. Or is this like that temple at the beginning of Indiana Jones? Look out, the head's rolling towards you. Then you've got your homage to chestbursters, and it wouldn't be a Ridley Scott film if we didn't establish that robots are never to be trusted. Oh, and speaking of David, there is no motivation for what he's doing. Like, under what circumstances is contaminating a person with an untested fluid acceptable? Does he have a secret mission? Oh, and speaking of secrets, why does Guy Pierce need to be secretly stowed away on the ship. He's funding the thing. It's fine that he's waking up later, but everyone should know that he's there. If you'd explain those whys, I could accept a lot more. It seems in general that motivation was thrown out the window with this one, and people were just doing what they were supposed to do because the script and Ridley Scott demanded it. And what's so frustrating is that the performances are all really good, but the things don't feel cohesive. It feels like we're dealing with multiple movies. The real issue is it's not sure how much of a prequel it wants to be, and as a result of this, while the film may be visually stunning and the score may be haunting, just showing us a pre-xenomorph at the end doesn't make it a good prequel. We need some meat on them story bones, and not brittle bones neither. This story didn't drink its milk. And speaking of xenomorph and bones, how's the math work out where it's black goo plus person plus other person equals squid baby plus engineer equals pre-xenomorph? They what? Why is it that squid plus engineer equals pre-xenomorph? Or why is it that human plus human equals squid? We see that black goo plus worm equals bigger worm. I mean, I thought that worm was gonna be a way bigger deal, because honestly, how cool would that have been? Small what if on this. Just imagine that they brought the worms from Earth to monitor oxygen levels. Then when they wind up in the chamber with all the black goo, vases and they start to panic, they knock over and break the case. As opposed to randomly walking in with earthworms on your shoes, by bringing something from Earth and directly getting it in contact with it, they're responsible for the xenomorph coming into existence. Yet despite all the flack that I'm giving Prometheus, it isn't a bad film. It's just a film that's not as careful as it should be, especially coming from such an esteemed director. We didn't need Prometheus to completely bridge the gap to Alien. I think we all would have been fine with a moody, more mysterious, almost theological sci-fi film. But instead we get a a film too caught up with its own past. But I will say that if Prometheus is the start of a new franchise, I'm excited to see where it's going. But as it stands, and like I said, prequels, they be a salmon box. So those are my thoughts on Prometheus. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, as always, you can check out previous reviews or you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Tumblr. I post there frequently with other movie type stuff, so join that conversation. As for me, well, it's time for us all to play some Mad Libs. So here we go, list your words in the comments below. An exclamatory an adjective, a historical figure, a noun, a profession, an adjective, a noun. So now if you check in the description, you can see what you were filling in the blanks for. And so this isn't so one-sided, I'll just give you a series of words and you can write a sentence for me to have said. So here we go on my series of words. Dehydrated, abruptly, ghost. Yellowstone, and of course the Mad Lib staple for part of your body, penis.